Hello, this is Julie, and this is Julie's blog. Sorry this blog is late. I filmed most everything on Monday. I was very silly. And then I didn't finish it on Monday, and I didn't finish it Tuesday morning, because I had work. And then right after work, I started hanging out with James. And I stopped hanging out with him on Thursday. And then I napped. And I've been making a list of things that we can do together because when people ask me things, I use my brain to shut down because it's like, no, I don't want to think. Don't make me think. It's been a good list so far because it's summer and you can do different things in the summer. We gave blood. And you can, you can kind of see my tape residue. It hurt really bad. Really bad. And James gave blood too, but he had to give it on a different day because he had forgotten and then we found it and I just found out that if I plug my headphones in my computer doesn't record any audio and I have such a cute face right now it's nice lighting I'm just in a good mood it's been a good mood And I had a three hour nap, maybe four hours, and the window's open and the light's on me and the air's coming in and it feels really nice. So. Enjoy everything I filmed on Monday. So, I want to show off sexy bike outfit. Pretty hot. I haven't biked all week. It's pretty awful, but every time I think about biking, it's hot or busy or dark. So really, I'm just making up excuses. So I'm going to go bike today, right now. And I just drank a lot of water, so my stomach's all bloated, so I'm, I'm, wearing, I'm wearing the bib. It's been really hot, and then I'm wearing this skin tight little white thing. Okay. Yeah. These pants are like really, they're thinner than my other ones, so it's like, nice thing. And I wasn't sure if I'd get a blog. I was laying in my bed wondering, did I do a blog? Oh wait, it's Monday! So, today's day for blogs. And the camera, my camera, the company called and said it would be like 230 something dollars to fix my camera. Which is a little ridiculous, so I'm just gonna get a new one. I'm gonna get my old one back. And maybe I'll just fix it myself. Because I'm pretty sure it's not that broken. I'm gonna go bike now. Look how healthy I look. I'm so pretty. Okay, I'm sure I don't look much different, but I left my house at 7 o'clock. Came back at 8.15. I biked to Westlap. That's like... Let me explain that drive. It was like 8 miles. That's like 16 miles. But I don't know how many miles it was. But I know that my town is surrounded by hills. Like, we're, we're just like up on a peak. And then things like to drop and then go back up. So a bunch of these hills I got up through sheer willpower. And need to eat some protein, so if you don't mind, I'm gonna go shop. Yeah, super sexy tight. These out. Alright, you have, you have to have the full effect. Alright. So healthy. The only reason I wore these is because the other ones went right here and it was just like, Ooh. like you know what? I'm gonna wear the ones that will suck me in. So yeah. So I also put my sunglasses in here with one hand. This is impressive. So excuse me. <sighs> I'm gonna shout.
I'm having fun, can't you tell? You know who I feel like? I feel like Harley Quinn from Batman. Ah, uh, straight back. Look at that. Look at a fucking board. Okay, so apparently I'm not gonna shower because my sister just texted me and said, Let's go hot tubbing! I'm gonna go hot tubbing instead. Rock! So that means that if I'm not showering this instant, I should have my protein. Because bike guy and Mary Ann. I bought a bike lock today and some even brighter headlights. And. I'll still need a camp towel and a sleeping bag and possibly some sort of bike seat pad. James has forbidden me from buying anything for myself because apparently my birthday is coming up and that means don't buy anything. However, I just bought the Swan Princess and I just bought the Peter Pan book. It's when it gets close to my birthday, I'm leaving in transitions. I want to get things that I've always wanted but for whatever reason didn't get. It's like I suddenly realized. That and the Swan Princess was five dollars. I wanted Cats Don't Dance, but I couldn't find it! I found out I'm going to celebrate my family birthday the weekend before the wedding. And I guess I'll celebrate some sort of going away other birthday thing. Tuesday after the wedding, so it'll be a karaoke night. He's curls! Ah! So. He's blonde. Blonde roots. Brown on top. Summer's gonna make me blonde again. It's already made my face red. And as you can see, my nice little chest V. Marianne will text me back. So the whole reason I wanted to know what days I was going to do my birthday is because I want to order my birthday cake. I got it last year. It's called a Paris Breast. Oh, it sounds so inappropriate. But it's pastry and custard and whipped cream and strawberries and pastry. Oh, it's so good. So I have to go ask Salt Hill if they allow outside cake. You probably do. I mean, market table allowed outside cake, but you just, they charge you to cut it. So I feel like this place would allow outside cake, but charge you to cut it. I wonder if I can ask for plates. I had to compare the color of the redness of my face to the paleness of my hands. Let's just compare. Marion's gonna come home and we're gonna go hot tub and he's gonna be awesome and I want a hot tub right now. I need to try to stretch my legs even more. I want to go eat cold. I had this corn kernel stuck in the back of my upper left molar. It was there for like four days, so I was doing this. Like every free moment for four days. Like I just could not get I like was brushing it. I was I floss I super flossed it. I like had popsicle sticks and the scrape, like nothing would get the thing out. And I'm like, I think I'm just making it worse. And then I was finally, after I'd super flossed my teeth, <laughs> I was like, Dad, I I can't get it out. And he brought down this little tool. My dad's an orthodontist, so he had like, let me get my dental tool. So like, I was trying to poke at it. He's like, let me see where you're poking at it with the thing. But the thing knocked it out. But right before it knocked it out, dad was like, yeah, I see it. It's like a tab of flesh. And I'm like, nope. It was a popcorn kernel. Dad was like, it's very unusual. It's something to be in there for like more than, like for that long. And I was like, I know. That's why I'm concerned. Oh my God, James does that.
not too much. Fun information. Uh, the weather's been really nice this week, so I wore shorts. And just finished freaking menstruating, so I guess it's kind of last week. I don't, I didn't talk about it last week, but it's kind of this week. Early? I don't know. Sometime early this week. I was wearing shorts, and James was like, oh my god. I think shorts and tank tops. Because we haven't quite. We we do this thing where I'm like, I'm gonna see you, and he's like, yeah, I'll see you after. Yeah. But I don't ask him how long it's going to take because it just it sounds like he'll be over in a minute. It's like oh, I'm just finishing something up, maybe like a half hour out, and then like a long time passes, and I'm like, where? Where is he? And then, so, like, sometimes I drive myself crazy because I'm bored out of my mind and I'm like, I want to see Jim. And he doesn't show up. And so that happened the other day. And he's like, I'll show up. And he's like, I'll be over in 10 and then, like, 20 minutes past. And then he was like, I'll be over in 5. I actually went and showered because I took a 10 minute shower. I took a little light timer. Came back downstairs. He wasn't there yet. I'm like sitting watching a movie, waiting for him. And he finally shows up and I just got disappointed in him because it was like tank top and shorts. Like my, and all my shorts are like these little shorts because I have fucking sexy legs. Sexy legs. That was the sexiest thing ever. That was just like a crop top. Much better sexy legs. And, and it was like, ha 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 ha. And he was like, oh my god, shorts. And then we went to his place, except when we go to his place, like I always hold his hand, and I hold his hand in his lap, and he put his, puts his hand on my leg. Except this time when he put his hand on my leg, there was just bare skin there. And he was like, oh god. Eh, <laughs> eh. And I started to talk. He's like, shorts are so seating. And I'm like, well, no. He was making something with us. We were doing something. And I had my little, I had these little purple shorts. That, and they were so short that, like, they have these pockets that you can see. Like, you can see half of the pocket. They have nice, deep, like, man pockets. And he just had a moment where, where he went, are those your pockets? I was like, yes, you have to remember my pockets. And he just like beelined it at me and like grabbed me. And I was like, mm-hmm. All my shorts are this short. And so while he's like freaking out in the car because I'm so fucking sexy. There ain't them. While he's freaking out in the car because I'm so fucking sexy. I started talking about how he was like, shorts are seating. Like if you ever wear a dress, you're in trouble. And I was like, or he said, I'm in trouble. And I was like, huh, well, I don't have that a lot of dresses, but I do have a lot of skirts. And he was like, yes. Oh, yeah. He was having a fun time with his bad self. And I just got to talk about my skirts. I was like, little denim ones. Oh, my God. He's not going to see this until later. This means I can show you. But. Come here. Come here. I brought up how I have these, these pleated skirts, these little schoolgirl skirts. And I know I'm starting to guess that he's a costume guy. My mom was like, yeah, dad's a shoe guy. So I'm like, I think he's a costume guy or something. So I was like, I have these little schoolgirl skirts. These little, these little pleated skirts fucking sexy. I was looking for pleated skirts for years and years and years because when you grow up watching anime, you're like, oh my god, schoolgirl skirts are the cutest things in the world. And I found those and I begged my mother to buy them instantly so I've had them for a few years. 
and they're still in my perfect condition. And I brought them with me to England, and they were the primary part of my clubbing outfit. <laughs> my clubbing outfit was, like, black tights, black t-shirt, like, all forms of And one of these skirts, usually the red one, because that would be color. And I brought up how they were part of my clubbing outfit, and James goes, Oh my god, you danced in them? Like his mind was about to fucking explode, or <laughs> maybe not his mind, huh? I was thinking of wearing one of them to work tomorrow, but I still have the usual problem of I have nothing to wear with them. So I think I'm going to wear my little denim one instead, with this cute little blue top. It'll be a yay, I'm done menstruating day. <laughs> yay, I'm done menstruating, and you have a day off. That's it. But I haven't been able to see you in two days, because <laughs> I drove older sister to Concord today. So I had to get up early so I couldn't stay at a really good place. And tomorrow I open at work. So I have to be at work by like 6.45, so that's too early. I can't stay at work. Well. Okay, it's starting to hurt my feet. I'm going to go eat protein. I'm so excited for James. Or for you guys, but you guys don't comment or like anything. I don't know if you guys are watching this at all. If you're watching this, please tell me. <laughs> I just realized that this is blog 52. It's, but it hasn't officially been a, yeah, it has. It's been a whole year. I've been doing a blog every single week for a whole year. The last, the first one I did was like April 29th, end of April, and now it's the second week of May. Can you believe that? Never done anything every week for an entire year. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep doing this blog until I leave for my, my climate summer thing. So there's going to be three, three, four more blogs. So it will be 56 of these. And then it'll switch over to being, like, my bike blog or something. Because if I'm biking and going on an adventure, I should probably tell people what I'm doing. And those I'll share a bit more, and I won't get to talk about my love life, because it will be non-existent. And then who knows what I'll do after that. So, there'll be 57 Julie Diary blogs. And then there'll be like 10 plus, because I'll probably do more than just once a week. Julie Bike Diary blogs, Climate Summer blogs. And then I don't know. Because I don't know if anyone's actually watching this. So it's not like I have a fan base, I'm going to disappoint. Yay. But I did want to tell you guys, and for everyone listening, I didn't I didn't think of anything to say because I'm not done with my blogs yet. But you know, it's been a year. Good job, Julie. You somehow managed to do it. Then they weren't all on time. And I think there's actually an extra one in there. There's I have like two, two with the same date because I got the number screwed up. But you did it. And then one day you'll be able to look back on this and... Maybe you'll just have a book about your... Oh, it won't be a book. It'll be one of those new books where it's like, it's a book that has video scenes in it. So you can see the murder scene. So it'll be a book of me describing what I think I remember from my childhood. And then I can piece in actual video. Who knows? I know there's going to be videos for the the bike thing, the climate summer thing. And then if I move to Boston, I'm just going to be writing letters all the time because I'm going to miss James so freaking much. But I'm in a good mood, so I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to go biking because it's probably going to 
start getting dark. It's like almost 7, and that's when I started biking last time. So I love all of you, and I'll see you again.